So we are going to be joined here by the wonderful and delightful Sue Bryce. She's one of our favorites here on Creative Live. We've had her a number of times, and we would love to uh, welcome her as our first interview for this Photo Week 2014 special edition rebroadcast with special guest Cookie Bryce. Sue, how are you doing this morning? Hi. Hey, how are you doing, Sue? I'm good, Russ. Good. And how is Cookie doing? <laughs> She's right in the middle of the action, as always. As always. How are you doing lately? You've been in L.A. Uh, for about a couple weeks. How is it treating you? It's uh, very warm and, um, yeah, really enjoying it. It's a big city. Just getting to um, used to driving around yes. and on the other side of the road. <laughs> very, very different. Love it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Photo Week. Now, tell us just a little bit about your course, Empower Yourself and Revitalize Your Business. I had um, just come off a few courses with Lara Jade and Kelly Brown, and so we've kind of crossed the um, gamut of uh, all the posing genres that I do, and I wanted to do a presentation that was based on, you know, who kicks my butt in business, because everybody thinks that I'm really super motivated and I'm super confident and I'm super lucky, and, and I thought to myself, who do you honestly think kicks me in the butt every single day and gets me out of bed. And especially when you work at home, because um, I don't have to get up and go to work. So I kick my own butt and it took me a lot of years to find out how to do that. So I wrote a presentation based on um, when you re-empower yourself, your whole business just gets re-energized. So this is kind of the, the process that you use to, uh, I mean, everyone is amazed at how much you're able to get done and how just, what a dynamic force you are in, in your own business. And this is kind of the process that you use to, to keep that energy up. Is that right? Yeah, look, it's, um, it's not easy. And sometimes I just feel like uh, just a girl that can't do this on her own. And I go through the... Um, I hate my job stage and I might have a bad client or a bad experience that I've somehow created in my studio and I just want to give up and there's just got to be something that gets you up every day and makes you want to reconnect with your business and as I was mentoring and teaching people I just found that everybody's business was just running exactly how they were running so mm -hmm. if you were depleted your business was depleted you know if you were um sort of bitter and twisted and you get into those weeks, months, um, that's what you were attracting in clients and scarcity and all those horrible things that come up for you, they all um, transmute into your business very, very quickly. That's fantastic. I'm really excited to see it because, yeah, I think a lot of people do get into that, that mode really easily where they do, they get frustrated by something and then it just becomes this cycle that just eats away and, and just you have to be able to break out. You have to bust out. And I love that that's kind of uh, what we're talking about. So let's talk a little bit just briefly about what we're coming up. You have a course that was just put live on, the, uh, on our website. Let's talk more. Everyone loves Sue Bryce. Let's hear what's coming up soon. I haven't even announced that yet, so I'm really excited. Before I go on, Russ, um, what you just said about, um, you know, it, if you listen to my talks, one of the things you're going to have to deal with is it's all about you. Mm -hmm. So if you want to deal with anything, you've got to deal with yourself first. I just want to say that. It's not anybody else's fault. This is I not happening that. to you. So it's a big take responsibility, this presentation. I yeah, might listen fantastic. to it again because I think I need to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, if Subrise can learn from Subrise, anyone can learn from Subrise. I love it. True. Okay, so let's talk about what's coming uh, up. So I did a shoot in January uh, for the Hollywood shoot and it started off as a conversation over a bottle of wine with Sally Sargood and she was like, what's your favorite beauty era? And I was like, they're all my favorite, except for maybe the 80s. <laughs> and um, we decided Hollywood glamour. And so I said to Felix, I'm going to come to New York for this thing. Can we shoot for a couple of days? And then instead of using models, I thought, let's use real women and um, not that models aren't real women, but, you know, everyday women. And then instead of using um, people we didn't know, I was like, why don't we use photographers that I know? And I asked all the girls and we had this amazing play date, Hollywood shoot play date. And um, it occurred to me that I don't use any form of studio lighting and I, I need to learn. Mm -hmm. 
and um, uh, who would be better to teach me than Felix? So he came and shot with me for two days and I loved it so much and our audience loved it so much and our friends and followers loved it so much. I asked him if he'd come and do a lighting workshop with me. So I'm going to shoot my style of glamour, natural light, and teach a little bit more about that because a lot of people struggle with controlling natural light the way I do. And he's going to replicate each of my shots in studio lighting and teach me. That's so great. So for those folks who might not know, uh, Felix Kunz is, uh, you may have seen him on any of the workshops that we have Lara Jade on. Uh, he is kind of her uh, basically lighting guru. He is amazing with lighting and he is gonna be coming to teach with Sue. I love the concept of this course. Uh, for those people who may not have seen the uh, Hollywood shoot that you're talking about, it is on your blog, uh, inbedwithsue.com yeah. slash blog. Yeah. Check that out, because uh, it's beautiful, and that is really exciting. We've been, we've been hoping to have him on, and I know there are a lot of folks out there who have been hoping to see more of, uh, lighting from Felix, and this sounds amazing. Well, the problem with lighting workshops, because I've seen a few of them, is I don't understand them. Um, everybody goes really highbrow, and they talk about, it's just, I just don't get it. I don't enjoy it. I don't get it. I'm really stubborn. I just throw my hands in the air and throw my toys out of the cart and go back to natural light. And I said to Felix, if you teach me, you have to teach me how to do it. So I'm going to be standing there asking you dumb questions and you know, questions that I'm sure everybody else who don't understand studio lighting. And whenever I post anything with studio lighting on my um, Facebook page or my blog, it amazes me how many experts there are. And, you know, they're large, I think a large portion of people don't actually know how to shoot with studio lighting very well. And he's got to replicate what I do with natural light. And I've spent 25 years mastering natural light. So I'm really interested to see um, what it's going to look like because I will definitely introduce light, especially with this Hollywood shooting, into my studio. And we're going to teach a whole segment on Hollywood lighting, Hollywood posing, and Hollywood styling. So I'm, that's just, I could do the whole workshop on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could watch it. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's absolutely one of my favorite eras as well. I just love uh, the, the Sorrell, George Sorrell, and like that whole era is just beautiful. Uh, so that is coming up May 19th and 20th. Again, it was just added to the Creative Live uh, course page. So go ahead and check that out in the photography channel. Very, very excited for that. One quick final question, I think, before we go into your uh, Photo Week rebroadcast. What is something you wish you had known when you started as a photographer? Um, you're talking about revitalizing your business, about once you're kind of into it and really excited about it and, and working in, in the business, but what's something you wish you had known when you first started? There's no gauge to professional photography. So when you start, it's um, you think you're really good, you hope you're good, you know you're not good, you think you're crap, and it just is this perpetuating cycle. There's no, I graduated as a professional photographer and now I'm upholding to the professional photographers society of whatever because most photography um, institutions just take a membership just to make money. So they don't really care whether you're good enough to actually service the public. And I feel like the whole industry really floats in the beginner segment of their careers because they don't actually know where they are. They're getting told they're not good enough. It's a competitive industry. And I wish I had have had um, more education and guidance in the first five years. It took me so long. I mean, if Creative Live had, had existed uh, 25 years ago or 20 years ago, it would have changed my world. I, I really had no concept of where I was at for the first 15 years. And, but then there wasn't the internet. You know, I, I, I'm that old. <laughs> I guess when the internet came out, you could gauge pretty quickly um, where you were in the world. I wish I'd had more of an idea on how to give better service instead of how to try and validate myself as an artist. I like it, treating a business as a business and focusing yeah. on your clients. Well, that's how you make money, right? That's how you have a career. But if you just want to be an artist, just go and be an artist and sell fine art. I love it. All right, Sue, thank you for joining us. You look wonderful. It looks like you're very happy down in LA. We miss you here, but we are happy for you.